So I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 here, and today I'm going to show you how to clear the cache partition of the device. Now the cache partition of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series will store various pieces of data that your device accesses quite frequently. That way instead of having to process the code and compute the results of, again, various bits of information, it is stored on the cache partition so that it can be accessed quite frequently instead of, again, having to compute and process that information again. Sometimes this data can get corrupt or there can be some wrong data stored in various spots of the cache partition due to poorly coded applications. So today I want to show you how to clear the cache partition of this device to clear up any type of issue that you're currently having. Whether it is an application that is forced closing, or your device overheating, or the battery life being poor during normal usage, clearing the cache partition is just one of the many good troubleshooting steps that you should do in order to fix various issues that you're noticing. So to clear the cache partition of the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and S10e, we first need to power it off, and we're going to boot into one of those special boot menus that I told you about before. We're going to boot into recovery mode. So once the device is powered off, we're just going to press and hold the power button, the big speed button, and the volume up buttons at the same time. Again, I've showed you this before. As soon as you feel the phone vibrate and it turns on, you'll see that splash screen. You just want to continue holding those three buttons down and we want to get to the Android recovery screen which this is the stock recovery but if you are using TWRP then you can actually wipe the cache partition through that as well. So we have booted my Galaxy S10 Plus here into recovery mode and now we're going to clear the cache partition from recovery mode by pressing the volume down button all the way until the wipe cache partition option is highlighted. Then we're going to press the power button to select the highlighted option. Now it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? And then at the bottom of the screen, you can see that we are about to wipe the cache. So again, we're going to use the volume down button until the yes option is highlighted and we're going to press the power button to select that option and again when we look down here we can see that we have formatted the cache partition the cache part, um, the cached data has been wiped and the process is now complete and if we look right there at the top we're taken back to the regular Android recovery screen and menu with the reboot system now option it should be highlighted by default so now that we have completed wiping the cache partition we're just going to press the power button to select this reboot system now option and our device is going to reboot and take us back up into android so we have booted back into android Nothing has changed, no data, no actual important data has been deleted. Again, this is cached data. This is duplicate data that for stuff that's already been processed and already been computed. Once you have cleared the cache partition, now you can go through and check various applications or issues that you were experiencing before. Again, whether that being applications or, that are forced closing your device overheating, even stuff like Bluetooth devices not connecting, or again, poor battery life. Wiping the cache partition can fix a number of those issues. 